want to move on and talk a little bit about uh, pot ETFs because we got uh, Tim here. Uh, Tim, uh, pass me uh, the ETFs, dude. I was quite impressed. I look at the, um, <laughs> the, the rankings of ETFs and how they're doing for the year. You know, I, I looked at the end of the first quarter. I do the usual thing. I go and open my 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 uh, my file and look at the best performing ETFs. And they're all pot ETFs. Those of you who don't know, by the way, uh, Tim Seymour is all in on this space. Uh, he's long a number of names. He's the portfolio manager of a cannabis ETF. He also sits on advisory boards for cannabis companies. And uh, for all Tim disclosures, go to fast dot cnbc dot com i had to say that tim they're just they're telling me to say that about there's a lot about to the say there thing. but there's a lot to tim's say tim's a real Thank expert you. i know tim's an expert on this space so we wanted to get him in and i was i honestly i was quite surprised that not just your uh cnbs but uh the the a number of your competitors were among the most uh the best performing uh 50 60 percent on well, the year so far uh, can you sort of bring us up to date? Uh, assume we're not experts on, on the, yeah. the pot business. And you see that spike in February, by the way. I want you to explain that uh, of what happened with all the cannabis. Sure. Uh, so bring us up to date on where we are on this. Yeah. So so again, it, you just hit it. We'll call it cannabis. I don't mean to be uh, 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 pedantic here. But no, like the point is that the cannabis industry, you know, as we talked about crypto and we talked about the digital you know, token world and the evolution of an asset class, very similar dynamics in very different asset classes. But but you're talking about uh, dynamics that have a lot to do with a macro legislative pathway for an asset class that allows it to be investable by uh, traditional institutional investors and maybe in some cases well uh, owned by retail in advance of that. So um, that's been the dynamic for cannabis investing for the last five years. And as, as you pointed out, I've been investing in the space for a long time and I'm an emerging markets guy in my past uh, investment history. So this is uh, similar stuff. You know, you asked about what happened in February that really led to this spike that's put a lot of the assets higher this year. And I think it's really two things. And a lot of this actually started in, in early January and some of it, maybe the seeds were sown in, in the November elections in, in, in Washington. But ultimately, the legislative path uh, on Jan 6th, when we woke up in the Georgia uh, runoff, uh, essentially you know, designated a, a blue majority in the Senate, and that that was you know that was a signal for significant asset flows into the into the space, just because the sense was that the legislative pathway for cannabis legalization would happen quickly. What does it really mean ultimately? Again, uh, institutions being able to invest in the sector, exchanges being able to list companies, uh, and so while the, the the north of the border trade, you know, five years ago or four years ago or three years ago was uh, seemingly more interesting. Investing in U.S. companies and, and investing in the U.S. marketplace is it's the biggest marketplace in the world. So, um, you know, that was really the, the movement in the asset class. And then you've had earnings profiles from companies all around the space that really uh, in the first quarter, you started to see those announced and they were based upon fourth quarter numbers and 2020 numbers for cannabis coming out of COVID. Again, the profitability for the sector is the other dynamic here. Um, so our ETF is it's active. Yeah. And, and again, I think that's critical in a sector that's constantly moving. And I think that, the, you know, the, the performance is a function of being active and being able to open and, and own all, all sides of the industry. You've got an, a, a home run here, Christian. Uh, not only are we talking about the uh, Amplified Transformational Data uh, Sharing ETF, BLOK, but we're talking about the Amplify uh, Seymour Cannabis uh, ETF. You're doing pretty darn well for yourself. And your iBuy, your retail uh, ETF as a thematic tech ETF, has, has done spectacular uh, this year. Uh, you got anything else up your sleeve for uh, 2021? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's been people like Tim uh, and, and frankly, the Toroso team at, and, and Block performing well. Um, it, we've been really pleased to partner with them. Tim's been able to, you know, produce uh, produce some unbelievable alpha versus the competition this year and even last year. Um, and we, you know, I will say we just filed on Friday for the Amplify Cleaner Living ETF, ticker DTOX, D-T-O-X. So that'll be a product we'll launch uh, later this year. 
but we're really pleased to see cannabis, CNBS by Tim, be the number two best performing ETF coming into the market today. And Block is the number three best performing ETF year to date. So really uh, blessed to have those and exciting uh, opportunities. We think there's some great possibilities for both funds going forward. Uh, well, hold on here. A, a clean living ET what, what, what exactly is going to be in the clean? I love the <laughs> detox. The, I love that. Yeah. So what, what these exactly are, are going to be in this? Be an index based ETF that focuses on companies in the building and infrastructure, health, beauty, food, dining, energy, and transportation area that are producing products that are better for the either environment or better for uh, the human body. So companies that are focused there, they have to have about 80% of their revenue in those spaces. So it's really kind of capitalizing on this trend that people want to live more uh, more cleanly uh, in terms of their footprint, in terms of their health, in terms of the environment. So um, we think that's a trend that's going to be uh, here to stay for quite a while. Yeah. We think companies that are pivoting to that uh, and have the majority of their revenue from that uh, have a chance to produce an alpha. Can't you just go the other way? I want to just see the <laughs> Amplify Go to Hell ETF, the symbol <laughs> die now. How about let's just go the other way? Come on. Tim knows what I'm talking about. He's thinking exactly the same thing that I'm thinking for crying out loud, aren't you, Tim? Well, I, look, I mean, I'm the clean drag living, him into this. detox, this. you know, lifestyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm, I'm a supporter. I'm buying in. I need it all. <laughs> OK, you're not taking the bait. All right, I tried to drag you in, Tim, there. You, you're endless. You're getting to be nope. very professional about this. It's very annoying. <laughs>